What's up guys, Max here and welcome to part two of our uh, 2009 GMC Sierra 2500 HD audio build. Some of you guys know the truck is an extended cab and today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be replacing all the crappy GM factory Bose speakers uh, with quality units to really kind of brighten and expand the sound inside the truck. Um, now, what I have on the table behind me is what we're going to use today. We're going to be using this. This is called GT Mat. I don't want to say knockoff, but it's a it's a cheaper alternative to Dynamat. It works really well. It's one of the uh, few reasons why I'm kind of happy that it's about 100 degrees outside. This stuff really goes on a lot better um, when it's warm outside, when the metal is warm, when the product is warm. So those of you who are applying it in colder climates or up north, you're going to need to use a, a heat gun to get the most out of this product. It also comes with a little bag right here of degreaser. Um, you mix this into water. We're just going to be using uh, standard Simple Green. And it also comes with this nice little roller. Uh, I paid about $150 for 100 square feet of this. This is enough to do all the doors and the body of the cab, uh, the floor of the cab. Uh, if I decide to go that route. Next, we have these. These are adapter kits. I went ahead and bought two of them just because it was cheaper that way. Uh, comes with wire adapters that fit to the standard GM uh, body plugs as well as have little um, spade terminals on the other side to fit most speakers. And two of these uh, grill kits. And what these do is they adapt uh, the factory kind of weird door size for the front doors to meet the six and a half inch speakers that we have back here. Now, I bought two of these kits, but the reality is we're probably gonna have to trim and mess around with the rear doors because they're little half doors. Um, to date, nobody makes a bolt-in uh, adapter for those for the six and a half or six and three quarter speakers. Now, the most important part of what we're installing today is these guys. These are the speakers that I bought. And I bought two different kinds. Uh, the front door are gonna get these. These are Infinity Kappa 62.11i speakers. I have had great success with Infinity Kappa series speakers in the past. They're extremely well made. They sound brilliant in the truck. And so the front doors are going to be getting these bad boys. The rear doors, I decided to cheap out a little bit. These are the Infinity uh, Reference 6502iXs. Um, I've never used these before, but I have used Infinity's mid-level series reference speakers before, and they're really good. The Kappa sent me back about $125. These sent me back about $60. And together, those are going to go a long way to giving us a much better sound inside the cab. All right, we're going to start here on the driver's side uh, front door. Um, and you're going to need an assortment of tools, a set of metric uh, quarter drive or something like that, just easy to get to. A uh, small flathead screwdriver and a variety of these uh, kind of door picker tools. This stuff you can get for like two bucks for the whole kit at Harbor Freight. And I highly recommend you do it. Even if you're doing just one time, it'll pay for itself because it's nice because you can slip it in and do things like this. There we go. First part is to pop off this little door triangle. And then we're going to come over here and undo this little latch that'll allow us to slide this guy off. We can come down here and remove this and inside of there you can see two 10 millimeter screws that need to come out but before we get to that and pull out this cover as well to remove the other 10 millimeter screw you just start taking stuff apart two screw and at this point you should be able to grab our flat pry you want to start somewhere down on a corner and just work your way around with your hands and these, these clips can be pretty strong. Then you just lift the door off. And remember, there's going to be some electrical connections that we got to take care of. And right here, the door popper. So it may have been advantageous to remove this controller first. Pop this up out of the way. Now you can see there's a white plug, black plug, brown plug, gray plug, and they're all labeled, which makes them nice. And obviously the main power junction. So all that's left that's holding us on is our actual uh, door pin. So it might be beneficial to have a pair of pliers, but as you can see, there's just two tabs and you just got to squeeze them in. And you want to just gently set the door aside, set all of our tools aside. Now we can take a look at kind of what's left. We have this, which doubles as a vapor barrier and basic sound deadening. Um, is just kind of glued on and set this guy aside. And we have this little black clippy thing which I think was just used to hold that on in place. And so now, just like that, we got our bare door which in turn will allow us to remove the speaker. Yep, there is just one screw. This is down to remove this. 
There we go. And you can see bows. Now, next thing we gotta do is we gotta put on our, our dyno map. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys the difference between this speaker and the new speaker. Okay, so here's the difference between the old speaker. This is one assembly. Uh, here's our new speaker. First of all, this weighs approximately four times as much, full of rare earth metals and magnets and copper and stuff. But, uh, and you can see this is a built-in tweeter. And the cool thing about these is if you're doing an open face design where you're gonna be able to see it, you can actually rotate this tweeter uh, to point any direction you want. We're gonna have it point up because it's in the floorboards. Also, you have these nice screw terminals. So we're gonna actually uh, use these. These are the wire pigtail adapters. And as you can see, they are already labeled for you, positive and negative. And these plug into the standard GM harness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip these and we're gonna just leave a piece of exposed wire and we're gonna put it in here. These are the adapter plates. And as you can see, it allows you to adapt a standard uh, six and a half or six and three quarter inch speaker uh, and have the same offset that you would get out of the uh, the factory piece. So you can see, um, basically if we raise it up, they're about level. That's what our new speakers will look like in the truck. Uh, but the next step is take this back out real quick, clean everything up and start dynamatting. And the idea here is basically all of this metal right here, we're not gonna go inside the door where the window sits, but all this metal out here, now the first step for flying dynamas, we gotta get this whole surface clean. Uh, basic simple green works. Any any favorite you know degreaser is just fine. You just want to get the surface nice and clean. So now that when it comes to application, you just want to start cutting out uh, pieces that are gonna work for you. So like this piece right here, I just cut out, and we'll trim off the uh, the curve excess. But kind of in general, you just want to you just want to pick a spot and start working on it. And when you peel this material off, this right here is tacky, but it's not super super sticky. So you want to make sure that you get it stuck down really well, and that's where uh, kind of the roller comes in. And you can pull it off and push it back down. And this little wooden roller right here really is what kind of helps you get all of these air bubbles out of here. Well, there we go. Uh, it's a bit patchwork, but it doesn't really mean anything. You can buy kind of pre-made ones that have big pieces, but they're just as much of a pain in the ass to install. And what you really want is you just want a nice uniform layer everywhere, and you want to make sure it's uh, kind of nicely adhered. Um, and But other than that, this this is, this is what you want. And so this is the nice part right here, because this... Uh, Plugs right into the factory harness, so I have to trim that thing down a little bit. We can just stuff this inside the door. Put that bad boy right there. This guy. If you prefer, you can also install two self-tapping screws right there. Um, but I don't see any reason to do that. We gotta make sure we hook those through. And here's the fun part. We gotta find, find and punch through every single hole there we go just like that the doors back together speakers in now we can move on to disassembling this back door now take apart the back door there's going to be a little tab right there and a little tab cover thing right in here again just three bolts 10 millimeters should take care of it Pop this off all the way around. This top part comes off as one piece. This top part probably comes off as one piece. And then this bottom part also just snaps off. Now inside of here, there is a small push button. Then here until you can remove it. Just like that, set our driver's side passenger door easily remove uh, the sound deadening material here. One 10 millimeter bolt. This is the moment of truth because nobody really makes a custom piece for this. There's our factory Bose speaker. So in the back, the other factory brackets don't work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the factory mounting hole uh, plus two self-cutting uh, metal screws to hold this bracket in here. And before we do all that, we're gonna put a layer of dynamat on all of this. All right, well, there's all the sound deadening material um, now we're going to get our speaker mounted. There we go. The speaker is mounted in. 
and now we can just go about snapping all this shit back together well i finally got both doors all four speakers everything dynamited up and unfortunately due to the uh music use bylaws here on YouTube. I can't play music for you guys and I don't know that it would make that much of a difference because I don't know that the GoPro can record really the quality uh, difference, but I must say it is astounding. This truck was pretty quiet to begin with and now it is just whisper quiet going down the highway. It's fantastic. The speakers are also amazing. I'm really happy I spent the money. Um, Infinity does not let you down. And just the clarity, even with the stock head unit, is is just just awesome. And so I can't wait to get my new head unit in here, get my subwoofer and my amp wired up, and then get a little more bump to it. But right now, it is just worlds and above better than the cheap GM paper speakers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you like this video, please subscribe. Hit me up. Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Maxworks. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Peace.